A million books and counting. Don't we love that? <laughs> Uh, this is very exciting. Uh, you are right now in the Cops and Kids Reading Room. This is the hub of all of our activities. Um, this is our 15th annual celebration of reading in the arts and sciences. And the first one came about, the mayor of our city said to me, this is an amazing thing. We should have a celebration. We were hoping to attract, we thought, about 500 people to this celebration and we attracted over 4,000 people. And so obviously, it's something that people understand. Everything we do is free. And so what we do in the celebration is try to bring together those individuals in the community who know that the children are probably our most important resource. That human resource determines what we will do for a very long time. And so it starts, this lovely event, this celebration of reading, starts with the parade. The mounted police from our, our city of Bethlehem police head the parade. We have uh, all 16 elementary schools in the city of Bethlehem are asked to participate. Uh, local bands from our middle school are in the parade. The college and high school students who volunteer with me accompany these young people. But that's our kickoff event. When the parade finishes, we have several different venues for all of these children and all those folks who want to come visit and spend some time with us. When they enter the Fowler Center of Northampton Community College, uh, there's a lovely little restaurant called Zyme. We always say, spend some time at Zyme. And our volunteers, our Cops and Kids got volunteers, both student and adult, are making three different smoothies for the kids to sample. Everything we do is free. This particular event, you don't pay to do anything. Uh, and we wanted to do that specifically. We didn't want to th anybody to think that they couldn't afford to have a good time. On the other side of the entrance, we have local uh, children performing. They're talented, they're beautiful, they sing, they dance. They put on portions of little plays that they're putting on in their schools. That to me is a magical part of who we are. I want to showcase the children of our community. Uh, it's called Cops and Kids. And so on the one side of the venue, we have the City of Bethlehem Police. Uh, they do little competitions, physical fitness competitions. We have fire trucks. Nothing thrills a child more than to ring the bell. <laughs> but that moment when you're connected, when you're connected to the people in your community, whose primarily, primary mission in life is to keep you safe, if you end up thinking positively about those people and there's a face connected to the name police officer, that's, that's a, a positive that lasts forever. An industrial museum, on that particular day, there is no fee for going into the industrial museum. They know, know the history of their community. We're located in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. We were the steel capital of the world at one point. They should know that. Every child who comes, we have a young lady who went to her first Cops and Kids event when she was five years old. She's now 12 years old. And she called me about two months ago and said, Mrs. Bradley, I'm now 12. And I said to my mom, I'd like to do something to help Mrs. Bradley help other children. So my name is Claire Hardy. I'm 12 years old and I go to Nazareth Area Intermediate School. I did a book drive there because I wanted to help cops and kids. So we started in, so I started with, I sent a letter to my principal asking if I could do the book drive and the school said yes. So we started in January and we went for like two weeks into February. Um, and we collected 7,164 books in all. So the process was like we would collect books on a table and then one day we would like take them in and sort them into boxes depending on their like category or what kind of book they were. I got a lot of books over the years because I went to Cops and Kids since I was five. So I wanted to help them too and still like have fun. We hope you enjoyed on this little journey through our 15th annual Cops and Kids celebration of reading and the arts and sciences. This is an absolutely joyful event for all of us. 
those on the giving end, and especially those on the receiving end. Um, I hope you witnessed the smiles on the faces of those children who are performing and the smiles on the faces of those people who have come to volunteer to show the children and those families who attended the event how much they enjoy the fact that they get to provide this opportunity for thousands of people each year. From the opening parade to the sampling of smoothies to hearing the voices of beautiful young people singing and dancing or playing an instrument, it's a day of joy for all of us. We were so glad that you got to spend some time with us. Please check us out on Facebook. Uh, we'll try to have the video on Facebook so you can see it again and again. And thank you. <laughs>